Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and welcome to a very rainy Monday morning here in Berlin. So this week I've got a whole load of things that I need to do. I've got a whole week of programming planned. I'm going to be implementing the audio system that I started designing last week. I also need to tidy up a load of loose ends in the render engine. And on Friday I'm going to be releasing Equinox to the Patreon supporters. So I need to do a lot of preparation for that. Just been working my way through implementing this sound system that I designed last week and there's quite a lot going on here because there's quite a lot of resource management that needs to be done and a lot of streaming large sound files and things like that. Um, and this morning I've just been testing out some 3D sounds so if you listen carefully you might be able to hear the, the sound that I'm testing here which gets louder the closer you are to the emitter. It is coming up to one o'clock now and I'm just about to stop for lunch but for the rest of the morning I was just working on planning out the ambient node class which is going to be used to play ambient sounds. I also used it in SOC1. It's basically just a, a big sphere of sound and uh, inside that you can hear an ambient sound such as birds tweeting or something like that. And I've also been working on this class called audio controller which is an object that gets returned whenever I request a sound to be played and then the way that that sound is being played can be controlled via this audio controller object. Just been working on the ambient sound class which is going to be used to play background sounds in the game but I'm just stopping now because I need to go food shopping for the week. Good morning everyone, it is 8.30 on Tuesday morning and today I'm really hoping to finish off all of the audio stuff. It is coming up to 11 o'clock and I've just finished implementing the ambient sound effects so I've added an ambient node to the, to the world here in this green area and whenever you go inside this ambient node, which is kind of like a sphere of sound, you can hear a sound effect of birds and water being played and then as you get further and further away from that area the sound gets quieter and quieter until you're out of the area completely. Just about to stop for lunch now and for the rest of the morning I was just working on tidying up the sound emitter code so I've completed that now, I've got ambient nodes are all done as well, system sounds are also complete so all I've got left to do now is the music player and also I need to do a bit of work on streaming the sound files. Just finishing off for the evening now and not much else happened today really, I just finished off the music uh, class and all the music playing functionality and I've also been going through a lot of the audio code and commenting it so that it's all nicely commented for when I release it to the Patreon supporters on Friday. Good morning everyone, it is 9.30, I overslept a little bit today, uh, on Wednesday morning and I'm just having some breakfast now and then today I need to get everything tidied up and ready for releasing to the Patreon supporters on Friday because tomorrow I'm going to be doing the devlog video because on Friday I'm going to be going to Wolfsburg to visit some friends. So I'm currently trying to make a few sound effects for Equilinox and I'm doing that at the moment by hitting stuff on the desk. Uh, so this is meant to be the sound of placing objects in the game. Um, so yeah, also I'm watching a few videos, tutorials about Audacity which is the program that I'm using to edit the sounds here um, because I haven't really used it that much before. So I have now put a whole load of different sounds into the game just to try out the sound system. Um, so I've got a mouse over button noise. There's also a sound when you place objects in the world now. Um, there's a rather strange sound when you place sheep, which is just me making a weird noise into my microphone. And also if you place a sheep in the water, it makes a splashing sound. So obviously all of those are just placeholder sounds for now um, but I thought I'd get some in for the devlog on Friday. Also I've been working on this kind of newsletter about Equilinox which I'll send to all the Patreon supporters when I send them the game on Friday and it just basically tells them all the new features and what's been changed since the last version um, just so that they know what to look out for. It is coming up to two o'clock now, I've just finished the release notes newsletter thingy and I'm just stopping for some lunch now. I've just been adding a couple more options to the options menu here uh, so you can now turn the music on or off uh, and you can also do the same with the sound. It is coming up to six o'clock and I'm just having a little bit of trouble this evening. I've just been trying to export Equilinox to a jar file because obviously that's how I'm going to send it to the Patreon supporters um, but unfortunately when I try to run the jar file 
uh, it just crashes instantly and I get this error which is something to do with audio loading up the uh, sound files which is really annoying because it works fine in Eclipse um, so got to do a bit of troubleshooting now so I managed to fix the error that I was having on my computer but now I've tried to run the game on my laptop and that has been giving some other errors so I've just spent the half, last half hour trying to fix them and I think if I now run it it should all be working fine which it looks like it is so it's the end of the day now but unfortunately I've still been having some problems with the game on my laptop um, it's doing some weird things and having some problems with the depth of field effects which is really annoying because it seems to work fine on my computer so I've been trying to fix that but I've kind of given up for now because it's getting a bit late so I'm gonna go to bed and I'll have another go at fixing it uh, tomorrow or on Friday it is Thursday morning and today I've got to work on the devlog video because I'm going to be traveling to Wolfsburg tomorrow so just getting started writing the script it's three o'clock now and I've just finished recording all of the audio for today's devlog so I'm stopping for some lunch and then I'm going to get started on recording the footage it is coming up to six o'clock and this afternoon I've just been slowly making my way through tomorrow's devlog video um, it's taking me a bit longer than usual but it's not too much of a problem because it's not going out until tomorrow so I can work on it through the evening tonight it is half past 11 in the evening now and I finally got the devlog video for tomorrow all finished and uploaded and all the settings are done and everything so I think I'm gonna get to bed now because I've got to get up fairly early tomorrow to get the train to Wolfsburg good morning everyone it is bright and early on Friday morning and I'm up and ready, I've just had some breakfast and I'm getting ready to go to the station because I'm going to be travelling to Wolfsburg um, which doesn't take very long, it takes about an hour and then I'm going to be staying with some friends until Saturday evening uh, and then I'll get the train back and I'll get back to work on Sunday Good morning everyone, it is Monday morning and today I'm going to be getting back to work uh, after a nice relaxing weekend in Wolfsburg where I was on Friday and Saturday um, then I came back Saturday evening and yesterday I pretty much just answered emails all day so today I'm, and this week I'm going to be working on tidying up the engine and the audio engine any loose ends anything that's still left to do I'm going to finish off completely optimize everything and hopefully after this week I can move on to the gameplay so first on the agenda today is to fix a really annoying bug that I found on Friday which only occurs when I run the game on my laptop and that is that the depth buffer doesn't update when I'm blitting from one frame buffer to another um, so you can see here that I'm actually moving the camera around but the depth buffer isn't updating and I've just found out what the problem is and it is that I was using different depth buffer formats for the frame buffer that I was blitting from and blitting to so if I change this depth buffer format to what it should be and then go ahead and run that the depth buffer does now update and you can see it moving as it should be it is half past one now I'm just stopping for some lunch I'm having some Leberkäse and beans because that's all I've got left in the fridge I need to go shopping today and this morning I made a list of everything that I need to fix in the engine all the loose ends and I started off by optimizing the batch rendering system just been working all afternoon on this batch rendering stuff which is taking ages and it's actually going to take a lot longer than I expected there's quite a lot more to it than I thought um, but I'm gonna take a break now because I need to go shopping otherwise I'm not gonna have any dinner tonight it is nine o'clock on Tuesday morning and today I'm going to be continuing on with trying to optimize everything in the engine and finish off any loose ends it is one o'clock and this morning hasn't been the best unfortunately I didn't really end up getting much done um, I was a bit lazy this morning unfortunately and I even fell asleep for half an hour at one point so not the best morning, um, but I'm going to have some lunch now and I will try and make up for it this afternoon. It is Thursday morning and yesterday was a complete disaster. I don't know where my motivation was, but I hardly got anything done in the end. So today I really need to knuckle down and get a load done um, with the optimizing of Equinox and also I need to start work on this week's tutorial. So once again today I'm trying to update the batch rendering system in Equilinox but it's really quite a struggle. There's so much going on, so many different possibilities of things that can happen in these batches. On every frame something could be added, removed or updated or multiple things could be added, removed or updated or a mixture of all of those. There are just so many variations and each of those variations needs almost a completely different response or action to happen. So 
it's quite a mess at the moment. There's quite a lot going on. I really just want to move on at this stage, but I really need to get this finished first. So it is 20 past four and all afternoon I've just been trying to make some progress on this batch rendering stuff, but it's going very slowly and it's pretty boring actually. Um, but I'm going to stop now because I'm going to meet some friends on the other side of Berlin to go to a Christmas market, which will be nice. It is Thursday morning and today I'm just going to be working on this week's tutorial. So the first thing that I always do when I start work on a new tutorial is to simply implement the topic into the code myself and get a working version of whatever it is that we're working on in the tutorial engine. So that's what I've been doing this morning. I've got some textured particles here, which is what this week's tutorial is about. And as I've been doing that, I've been making some notes about all the things that I've been changing. It is five o'clock in the evening now and this afternoon I've just been going through and implementing all of the particle texture stuff again but this time I took a bit more time to make sure that I was doing it in the most logical and best order uh, possible so that it's all logically ordered when I show it in the tutorial and also I made step-by-step -step instructions for me so that when I go back and record myself coding it I won't forget anything or leave anything out. Just been recording a bit of the coding for this week's tutorial, but I'm just stopping now so that I can go out and meet some friends for dinner. So that is it for this week, and it wasn't the best week this week. I didn't really get that much done apart from the tutorial, which is a bit of a shame, but I think I'm already in the holiday mood with Christmas coming up, and I've been planning my journey back to England to visit my family in a couple of weeks. So um, a bit slow going this week, but Next week I'll try again, pretend this week never happened, and hopefully make some good progress before Christmas. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.